Our next guest is such a riot. All you She's gotta do, nuts. What, all you have to do is introduce her. You sit back and let her go. She's That's all you have to do. Nuts. Well, I don't know what she's gonna say. I don't know what she's gonna do. All I know is she's here, and I'm loving she's every second. She's nuts. Hold on to your seats for a wild ride, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Judy Tanuda. But we have to talk about Marie's shoes. Look at this. Oh, wow. Hello. Well, you have, you you like guys looking at the bottom of them here, Paul. You want to get a side shot? Yeah, Cinderella spawning pumps. Okay. <laughs> I love them. I love them. Um, they go with anything. <laughs> That's right. I love them. See through. Who? <laughs> Wait. What? You have so many fans, like we didn't know. But yeah. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, I was outside at the b backstage door, uh -huh. you know, and there was this person standing there, looked like a squid in stretch pants, okay? <laughs> and they're like, oh, oh, when you get on the show, say hi to me, okay? Mention my name, say hi to me, say hi to me, okay? You know, <laughs> like, I'm gonna bring your show to a screeching halt to say hi, Janet Reno. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Right. Did you truly move in next where she and I do? I, I live next door to Pamela Anderson. It's so convenient. Why? Because, well, whenever I want to borrow a cup of silicone, <laughs> does, she have, does she have wild parties over there? Oh my God. Hello. She's a flotation device. <laughs> But I don't care. I can turn back time because I'm Cher. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> what do you do? Do you just sit in the mirror and go, hmm, Cher? <laughs> I do. How, do you, how do you live with yourself? <laughs> Excuse me, like it's not a pleasure? <laughs> are there many faces of you, or are you always like this? No, I. A gentle petite flower. In fact, oh, yes! it can happen. Yes. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> and you know what, though? What? As you know, I'm the love goddess. And so many people ask me for advice. It's true. Really? Really? What, advi what, what, what kind of advice? What's the best advice you'd give them? <laughs> well, first of all, let's talk about love. Let's ask everybody how many of you ever started dating some pig because you were too lazy to commit suicide? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm you're, you're a giver, aren't 
you? I <laughs> am a giver. Marie, how did you know that? Because I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a giver, and other people might be takers, and guess what? I think I have to sing about it. Yeah! <laughs> you act like James Bond, he's fond of our friends. But when we're alone, I have to change your defense. <laughs> you say that you want me all of the time. Well, get on the phone and call me, you slime. <laughs> yeah! You're just a taker. I'm a giver, you're a taker, you're a nasty, stinking heartbreaker. Johnny, get up, air guitar, air guitar. You're a taker. your movie, Death, Desperation Boulevard. Yes! It's going to be playing in your house. <laughs> All over the country, yeah. It's playing in Chicago right now, and then it'll move around. Do you like being in Chicago, or do you like being in L.A.? I like it in L.A. because, see, like in Chicago, you have a boyfriend, but out here you get to have a stalker! <laughs> yeah! We want to thank all of our guests. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tomorrow on Donnie and Marie, stunning Southern Belle Jacqueline Smith, and box office best bets from movie critic Leonard Malton. Also, Renee Taylor and Joe Bologna spice things up with their secret weight loss recipe. See ya.